Hey everyone, it's Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a renovation video. So today I'm back with my renovation series where you can submit builds on the gallery using the hashtag RenoMeGriffy with a description of any kind of budget or what you're looking for in a build and I go through them and renovate them. Today I'm renovating the Fixer Upper by Ragnella, an old coastal home that was left for years and now needs some fixing and cleaning. So we're gonna go ahead and place this down and take a peek. It is so overgrown and I'm very excited about this because the last time I did one of these builds, I asked for some rundown, destroyed, like dirty, filthy homes to go ahead and fix up because I just felt like I was constantly ruining your creations. And I do still feel like I ruined this build. But do you see the detail, the filth, the disgusting nature of this build? I love it so much. So we're going to head on in the front door and this is what you see. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I love the detail. There's so much stuff on the floor. There's muddy paw prints, pizzas, drinks, little TV, all sorts of stuff. There's a mini fridge here in the living room because we have a broken one in the kitchen. Just food everywhere, posters, beakers, all kinds of stuff. It's so gross in here. We also have a little sunroom over this way, which looks like a cat took over and it's also really gross in here and there's like food in the kitty litter box quite like that there's scratches everywhere and i'm gonna just say it now fixing up this house these were they were my enemy we were we were, we were enemies i kept finding them everywhere <laughs> i thought i got them all and then i would find more so if we head on over this way through the living room you are in a tiny bedroom very dirty disgusting scratches through this room. We have a tiny bathroom here. And then if we go back out through the living room into this door, we just have like a back hallway that leads you onto this little porch space, which is just covered in trash. And then if we go on upstairs, we have some more trash and an eggplant, some posters. And then if you head on into this room, we have a bedroom full of uh, scratches and a pumpkin, a cabbage, I think, or lettuce, uh, you know, scratches. And there's a lot of balconies here with all sorts of trash. So if you're in need of that, <laughs> this house had it and I tried to fix that up. And then there's a ton of doors over here. So if we go into this one, you have another bedroom full of all sorts of stuff. Uh, go through this way. We have a dirty little bathroom. And lastly, this is the last bedroom. Once again, a disaster, but uh, we have another lovely balcony full of trash and there are scratches in this room. Cool. Uh, so that's it for the entire build. All that I was told, no budget. I was just given the instruction of cleaning up this lot renovating it and making it look nicer. So I tried to keep with part of the floor plan, like the stairs are generally in the same area. I ended up keeping the kitchen over in, actually, no, I did not keep the kitchen there. I thought about keeping the kitchen there, but I did move some things around, uh, but you can definitely still, still tell that it is the same house. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump on into that renovation. So starting on the outside here, I am deleting all of the plants. This lot was incredibly overgrown. There are so many individual pieces of debug landscaping, so many pieces of grass and junk. There was even like a cat gravestone outside. We had like a water tower and electricity lines, all sorts of just junk. I accidentally deleted the porch there. And the two things that I keep finding in this build are scratches and mouse holes. <laughs> so there, it, there, there's definitely a possibility that there will be one or two remaining because I kept finding them by accident. I thought I would, I got them all and then a wall would be deleted and then there'd be floating scratches or a mouse hole that was like built between walls. So it was definitely a very interesting build to renovate, but this one was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. You can see I'm extending the inside a little bit. I'm also playing around with the roof texture. And I pulled the porch around in the back so it's actually a space your Sims can access and utilize and have a bigger space to look out at the ocean. As this is a beautiful lot in Brindleton Bay, it's one of my favorite ones uh, because it's like right on the beach and it's just so pretty. So right now I'm just trying to figure out the outside before I head on inside to uh, clean it up in there and figure out a floor plan. But I wanted to focus on the outside first. That's kind of how I deal with builds and I figured once we got to the inside, I could make some changes to windows and doors and stuff based on those specific rooms. But at first I just wanted to delete everything and make the front look nice. And then I figured out the rest as I went. I did end up swapping out all of the cats and door, cats and doors, cats and dogs, uh, windows and doors for 
seasons ones because I liked the look of a black swatch on this house. I felt like it helped to modernize it a bit and I was really trying to update this home. I was not given a budget so I just kind of went wild and this house ends up being not too too expensive but uh, 67,680 simoleons and I believe it's a two bedroom. I might be wrong on that. It's either two or three. Uh, I guess we will find out together, but I knew I had to get rid of the color of that bathroom. It is very bright blue and the layout up here was just a little odd. I'm just deleting so many items, getting rid of the vegetables and like all of the junk that's all throughout this house. Look, look at all of the individually placed items here. I was so impressed by this build. This must have taken forever and I love these builds. I love building stuff like this. I like renovating stuff like this and all the little paw prints. Oh my goodness. Just so incredibly cute. Uh, I also just really liked that sunroom. I love those windows from the laundry day stuff pack. I think they work beautifully in a sunroom area. So I was happy to keep that as like the dining space in this house, uh, but still getting some trash out of here. I also realized I had put bushes a little bit too close to the house and they were peeking into uh, the interior. So in the bathroom here, just deleting some more stuff. We even had like individual nail files and stuff on the floor, which was really interesting. There was trash under the steps, which is wild and hard to believe. <laughs> so um, I did actually decide I wanted these stairs to be closed underneath. So I'm swapping those out now so that they are not open and there's not space to put stuff. And I actually will change the way they curve a little bit later because it works better with the upstairs floor plan. So instead of you entering on the left side of the stairs, you enter on the right, if that makes sense. You'll see me switch it around a little bit later, but right now I'm just configuring the floor plan upstairs, trying to figure out how to make this room bigger. And that is why I actually changed the orientation of the stairs because I wanted there to be better space for a double bed in the primary bedroom. So here I am flipping those stairs around and replacing them down so I could have this bump out a little bit further and have a more spacious bedroom which I think worked out really nicely. And then there is access to the front balcony for the primary bedroom. And then the back balcony is in the hallway. And we have a small bedroom up the front and a little uh, closet space in this area as well, that one by one cube. Um, so back downstairs though, I was really not sure uh, what layout I wanted to do down here. I thought about having the kitchen in there. I'm kind of like moving my cursor around trying to figure out a concept and where I want to put things and I thought this area would be really cute for the kitchen especially because it's leading out onto that ba that back porch uh, facing the water and I thought that that would be a really nice space for your sims to go ahead and enjoy a meal uh, just out on the back porch so that was the inspiration behind that and so I, I was really happy with that floor plan decision it's pretty open concept down here other than that though this little dividing wall divides the dining room from the living room and then this room over here I decorated as like an office slash spare bedroom. So it has the Murphy bed in there, which I thought was quite nice. And I went for a very like black and white color scheme in here, plus some like earthy browns and stuff like that, but primarily a very modern interior, so drastically different than the original. I feel like this was a full flip, uh, which was really refreshing to do. I really enjoyed this build. Um, but speaking of which, if you have any builds you would like me to renovate, if you want to create something specifically for me to renovate, or you just have a build that you're like, okay, this is my budget, this is what I want to get done, please feel free to submit it on the gallery. I'd love to see your builds. Uh, you can upload those under the hashtag RenoMeGriffy. That is in the description down below as well as in the title of this video. I'm hoping to do some more of these videos in the coming weeks because they are so fun to do. So make sure to submit some builds if you are interested in taking part. With that being said though, I definitely will not be able to get to every single build that is uploaded on the gallery. So please don't be upset if I do not get to yours. I uh, do the series occasionally and it's just really fun. So if it's something you'd like me to see but won't be too upset if I do not get to renovate yours, please submit. Otherwise, I really don't want you to be upset. So please, maybe don't. But um, anyway, <laughs> on the inside here, I am in love with how I rotated this mirror. I don't know why, but I kept staring at it. It's just a season's mirror, but rotating it so it's 90 degrees with the tool mod just made me so happy. And I just thought it was really pretty. <laughs> anyway, this is the dining room space, just kind of sectioned off by a wall in a fireplace and uh, very black and white using a table from Seasons and some chairs from high school years and just a little bit of greenery on the table. 
And then I ended up rotating a painting over on this wall as well. I've been using a lot more tool lately. <laughs> Something about it just makes me really happy. So I have been enjoying that. Uh, don't worry, you don't need tool in order to download my builds that have tool being used in them. Uh, this should just be available on the gallery under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. Uh, if you'd like the renovated version, if you would like the original version, all of the creator's information is also down below on how to find this lot. Plus, you will have been able to see it in the beginning of the video when I showed you the original version, which I'm going to be honest, is way better than this. It's so cool. I love the detail in it. I think this is a nice modern home, but um, the original, the storytelling, you could tell with that. Oh my goodness. I just adore rundown builds. I really like building them too. Let me know if there's any kind of like rundown build you'd like to see on the channel sometime soon. I feel like I do them kind of a lot, but they're so much fun. So I, I just always want to. So of course, let me know if you have any ideas. But here in the kitchen, just finalizing where the cabinet placement is and then getting our trash can uh, and some more decorations in here. So we have a fruit bowl. I'm going to be getting some spices and stuff up on those shelves that I placed. And of course, my cork boards, not my cork boards, my cutting boards. I am never able to speak. Um, I just say the wrong word completely. I'm like, that there is a toilet and I'll be pointing at a couch. I don't know why I do that. Does anyone else do that? Anyway, kitchen is coming together now. <laughs> just trying to figure out the last couple of decorations, grabbing some stuff from Cottage Living because there are some beautiful items for kitchens in that pack, particularly for clutter. Uh, and then this is that downstairs spare bedroom slash office space which is using a lot of tiny living <laughs> and of course a little desk over in the corner. So this bed will come down and be a good space for your Sims to use if they have somebody staying over. You could also convert this into somebody else's bedroom. Maybe this is where like grandpa or grandma comes to stay when they're visiting. So many different options for this room, but I thought it looked nice. And I feel like I just don't use the Murphy bed that often. That being said, I used it in a recent build when I did those tiny apartments. Uh, one of them had a Murphy bed in it. And I believe it was in this swatch as well, but I just, I don't, I feel like I don't use them that often. And so it was kind of fun to do that. Anyway, this is the downstairs bathroom. It has a standing shower, a sink, a toilet. Uh, it's not actually one with a shove for once. I believe I do have that upstairs though. There are three bathrooms I want to say in this house, but I'm pretty sure this is the only one I show. So just decorating it pretty simply. It's very black and white in here. I think the only pop of color might be the, the rug I ended up putting down in a moment here. Yeah, this little blue rug. It's, it's very dark in here, but I liked how the blue called out to like the blue tiles. Uh, there are a couple of, um, blue designs in those tiles, which are from high school years as well. But this is the primary bedroom. It started off very black and white, but I warm it up quite a bit by changing some of the swatches here. I think that this bed with the brown and yellow is so much more comfortable and cozy. Uh, so I was glad that I did change that and it just really inspired the rest of the room. And I think it's a pretty good primary suite. I was, I, I was rather happy with it. And I actually used this dresser from Seasons, which I haven't used in a while. For some reason, the swatches on it I've always thought were a little bit strange. And you can see me here um, <laughs> battling with the scratches. I just keep finding them. I don't know how it kept happening. I was being so good about trying to delete all of them and finding all of like the scratches, tears, like junk on the walls that isn't supposed to be there in a renovated version. But I kept still finding them, scratches and mouse holes, particularly scratches, but mouse holes were definitely a problem I came across as well. But anywhere, um, or anyway, out here on the back porch on the upper level, I have a couple of loungers as well as a yoga mat, some plants, and then I am just going to work on the hallway space here. I do change the roof trim and there are some more scratches, um, <laughs> the roof trim because it's peeking through the wall. Uh, but I do get a keyboard up here as just another skill building item, as well as a bookcase, a plant, you know, all of your basic things, a couple of decorations. It's just a simple hallway space. I didn't think it needed too much, but I thought it'd be nice to have some usable objects in here. And since we had a office downstairs, I didn't feel like it needed to be an office space, which is something I often do in hallways or like entryways to houses, just like anywhere I have a hallway or just a staircase or anything like that. I'm like, that's a good place to throw a desk. Uh, but I didn't do that here. But anyway, this is the child's room. I have a bunk bed in here as well as a giant play tent. Yes, it is blocking the entrance to or the exit to their small balcony, but I thought that that was okay. 
because I don't imagine they're using it that much and I just thought it was really cute and realistic to just have like the big fun kid toys even if uh, they're not the best space saving if that makes sense. I just thought that that room came out really cute and I love that play tent from Dream Home Decorator. It's a fun activity for your kids and it's, it's just a little bit different than the other things in the game. Anyway, I am working on some more landscaping now using lots of debug to get greenery around, lots of shrubs and rocks, going through all of the different options and trying to make it look as realistic and blend into the environment as I possibly could. I also got a couple of rocking chairs out here on the porch and getting some more lights on either side of the door. Uh, I did pick out a rug as well and I'm trying to think what else I added. I just kept going back and forth, uh, of course, getting some terrain paint. I wanted to get some dirt, but also some sand because this is just off the beach area. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect to any sand. It's not directly on the beach, but I still wanted it to have that vibe of being a beach house. So just doing that and then adding a couple of stepping stones leading up to the front porch. And then that is pretty much it for this build. I had a lot of fun with this. It was so much fun to renovate your build. If you are watching this, I hope you enjoyed this and I did it justice. And if you are interested in submitting a build, please do so. You can uh, submit using the hashtag RenoMeGriffy on the gallery and I would love to take a look. But with that being said, we're gonna be heading on into screenshots now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.